With the finals beta upcoming on the 7th of March, you're asking the question, what should I do to prepare? My name's Styx, I've been playing FPS games for 10 years now, with around 10,000 hours invested. Mainly in the tactical FPS genre. If you're like me, you've seen the current state of games and you're looking at the finals to be on your next roster to grind competitively. Not many people have the current meta of the game. We don't even know what the game is going to be yet, but what I'll do is generally show you the things I would look for to dominate on day one. Before the actual beta playtest is live, there's actually a few things that I'm doing, first of all, to keep myself prepared. I want to make sure that I'm able to have the best control of my mouse that I can. This step is obviously optional, of course, but what I've actually done for you all is created a playlist for Kovacs if you own that aim trainer for like a really simple daily routine in order just to prepare you for the aiming aspect of the finals. I created this playlist with main inspiration from Voltec, who have some incredible guides on aiming. So if you want to learn deeper, check the channel out. There's a lot of controversy surrounding aim training, so I'm not telling you to grind this for hours and hours every single day if you don't want to. The aim of this is to actually firstly get you used to different aiming styles so for example if you come from like mainly a counter-strike background you're not going to be as used to aiming vertically as the finals has that insane movement within the air what the main goal of this aim training playlist will actually do is show you the areas of weakness that you might have so when you get to actually playing the game you'll essentially know in the back of your mind the fights that you have the most chances of winning but also losing and then from there, you can actually build something which I'm going to call the building blocks for the process of improvement. Check the description below for the playlist code on Kovacs and just follow the instructions of what I'm doing here so you can actually import the code into the Kovacs mode. Here's also some keys that you can all redeem on Steam if you don't know to copy. Please just, you know, use one by one. Um, this is just a thanks to all of you for being awesome. Now, I would also say that the finals has actually a huge similarity to games such as Apex Legends in terms of movements and abilities. So that might actually be something if you've played, you know, Apex Legends before or you haven't played it before. Maybe just something to do for a couple of weeks, right? We know that it comes out on the 7th of March and by by the time this video comes up, I think it's going to be the 28th or the 1st, roughly. So you have about a week before in preparation. I think that's just enough time. You know, why not just crack out an old game and, and, you know, kind of play that one again? Also, as well, though, I would actually say for the shooting aspect, just mainly, Battlefield is actually really useful to try that out. So, you know, if you've played Battlefield before, take a trip down memory lane, right? And just, you know, play a few games, especially if you're in that sniper mindset. As I covered in one of my previous videos, which you guys can check out, is the debater trailer reaction and breakdowns. The sniping really looks similar to Battlefield. So, you know, just keep that in the back of your minds. If you want to do sniping, check out Battlefield. Of course, this is a beta play test. So, you know, the main objective is, you know, just to have fun and actually help Embark provide feedback. So just keep that at the back of your minds that this still isn't the total final product of the game. Now, in terms of the game mindset, the things I would do when playing the finals for the first time would be as follows. What we're doing is we're starting off with a foundation or a single brick of a wall that you want to build. Because this game is brand new, we don't actually know what the meta or the game will actually be yet. I would actually say start off as simple as you can, focusing on just the gunfights first, just to practice that aspect as much as possible as it's one of the most important aspects, right? On every death, you'll actually get a global cooldown, well, at least that I know, before you can respawn again. I'll give you guys a really, really good secret to improve as a player. And this is coming from, let's just say, you know, you were all Ascendant or you were Immortal. How do you go up to that Radiant rank? Or, you know, you were like face at level eight and you were like, how do I get to face at level nine and 10? One of the biggest secrets that I've kind of found when I've been playing is that you should actually do something Think that a lot of pro players do when they die in esports matches. That's just simply silence. During this silence period, they're not angry or frustrated. What they're actually doing in that silence period is they're replaying what just happened in their heads and then they're thinking about what they did wrong and what they could have done better. So in the example of focusing on gunfights, what we're doing here is essentially starting off with a draft, then building out on that draft when someone else finds a counter. Just as an example, let's say that you're pushing in towards a building, you do well in the gunfight, but either an ability or mechanic outplays you, well, you know, what should you do there? Think about how likely you were to win that fight in the first place with just your gun, right? So, you know, did your aim let you down? Is that something to work on? Or were you too aggressive? You know, is that something you need to work on? Or maybe you were just too passive and the teammates ran you down and you didn't make plays off of the 1v1 
you know, mini situations that you had. At the same time, you could actually think about what abilities that you have in this class that you could implement into your game to change the scenario in your favor for higher odds. This example in the background is really bad. I was kind of like, I wanted to give you guys a visualization, but I didn't want to do the terrible drawings that I did in my, one of my previous videos. So I'm going to do it from like a battlefield example. So just pretend there's enemies and all this stuff, but I'm going to try and give you the best example I can here. So I apologize, but a good example would actually be utilizing lights, cloak and invisibility. So let's say that you initiate a fight, manage to take down one player and then let's just say there's one more left over inside of a building after the first elimination a good idea would be you could instantly go into that cloak of invisibility and then enter the building further fighting the second person from you know let's just say a, a you know a surprise angle or you could use that cloak of invisibility as a really good exit so then you can heal up and then reinitiate the fight thinking about that process of how you can improve doing that over time as a solo will really help you just improve way faster than anyone else just remember as well that Practice doesn't actually just make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. What I mean by that is the amount of effort that you actually bring into improvement will likely be the output or results. As Thorin says, Well, the way that you practice is the way you're going to play in the game. It's the way you're going to be most comfortable. It's the way your habits will be formed. So if you practice sloppily and like a head, then you're going to play sloppily and like a head in the game. Remember as well that this is obviously a team game. So of course you would either call up your old buddies or you would actually find players willing to play. A good first search for this is actually in the friendly Discord server for the finals. It's the official server. Go check that out. It's in the description. But for now, we're actually working on, you know, just purely individual improvement. The next point in here is actually utilize the practice range. The beta actually does include a practice range where essentially we can just test weapons, gadgets, movement, and then obviously the destruction in the game as well. So I left this out on my previous video and some people did obviously note on that, but the reason why was because I wanted to kind of have a video to really focus on this point and how you can utilize the practice range to its maximum potential. Now, obviously I haven't actually seen the practice range and I haven't seen what it can offer like in person, but with what we know, we can actually use this feature to test out things such as you know how your abilities react to certain elements within the game you know um it, how if your bullets can penetrate a wall or what, what kind of objects you can shoot through um things like that you know destruction wise or you could actually just simply test out what abilities you know even complement your play style and then you can actually use this practice that you're going to do outside of matches to build upon that wall that you're creating from the bricks one of the best type of practices that i would actually say is going to be like how you can manipulate your movement and deal damage at the same time so that's actually kind of like similar to like keeping in your toes and like real life sports, right? You never want to really be stationary in this game. And that's especially if you're kind of going for that aggressive combat focused play style. So a lot of players from Apex Legends are going to do very, very well in this category area because, you know, they're kind of really built on the strengths of, hey, let's we're having a move around. We don't want to keep ourselves still. We don't want to make ourselves an easy target. We want to manipulate our own movement. And we're going to see if we can actually find some things in the finals that we can actually train ourselves to use so that we can be on our feet and moving around if you're looking at being you know in kind of like more of a heavy role then i would actually say that you guys should test out things such as like your abilities so as an example like how far your war charge lasts for so then you know in the back of your mind the range right so let's say you're approaching a building with your teammates knowing the range of things like the wall charge i'm calling it a wall charge it's probably not no idea what it is but knowing the range of that you'll then know when you can execute it and when you can say to your friends like hey it's not in range yet or like we're not close enough or things like that so or also keep that in the back of your minds too. Keep using it and spam it over and over in the practice range. So then you build up that kind of knowledge and information. So then you know the data that you have that you can use in game. Just basically test out what abilities and weapons you have to either fortify or you know you destroy an objective that you currently feel is overpowered, matching your playstyle. And then later on you can combine those things with your friends, and that will kind of be you know the merging of your skills with a team environment some advice as well if you're a completely new player that's looking to get into the competitive ranks following these processes make you a mechanically a better player than the more experienced which is really the beauty of a new game i would actually say though for the new players that you should actually focus first on how the abilities work if you lack in the aim area just because i believe that i think that you could possibly outplay people that have good aim if you're actually the smarter player 
So I would actually start working on the surprise factor that actually catches people off guard because then that little period of surprise factor time that you have can make up for your aim in order to take down the opponents on the opposing team. As players begin to climb ranks, then obviously taking the advice and experience from watching videos is another super fast way to progress. People have been asking me, will I upload gameplay and things like that? Yes, I will probably do some live streams on my channel as well, and it will be on YouTube. So you guys will know like exactly where everything is. Everything I would like to be on YouTube right now. So I can also give you guys on the fly tips or you can actually see, you know, my improvement over time as well. And then you can essentially just copy or improve upon what you're seeing from me or, you know, some other experienced player and what they're doing and then apply that to your matches as well. I have actually been coached before multiple times from uh, games such as Valorant from like top tier, like ex-professionals. One of the main things that I've kind of taken away from the advice they've given me is actually just literally confidence is a huge factor combined with your expectations. This beta play test can really just show you what areas you need to improve on before the game goes into its final product, but mostly just take this play test and have fun. Another thing is, as I gain more analysis and insights into how matches run, um, I'll be watching other people's videos as well and just seeing what I can pick out of that. I'll actually be making future videos on team play mechanics and just kind of like player guides as well. But for now, this should hold all of you over. And if you're watching this in the future, all the rules of this video still mainly apply. So this isn't like a waste of time. Uh, you can obviously just counter the current meta that exists in the future. But if you are watching this in the future, then I should have more guides up on my channel for like more recent times to check them out as well. But everyone here who is on the present day in uh, in February or March 2023, I hope you all enjoy the beta. Some of you are probably playing the beta right now and you're enjoying it. So, um, you know, just a couple of tips for you, but I will be making more content. Thank you everyone for watching as well. My name has been Thix and I'll see you on the podium.